Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We learn Stisla template with NPM generator in last tutorial. Labs added one more feature than the other templates. In this package, jQuery data table support added and we are mostly using jQuery data table into the admin panel and it's take a time to develop manually. But now you can do it with one command and you can save your lots of time you need to pass one option and you can generate the jQuery data table with Infium generator while the generate a scaffold so let's start implement it uh, let me show you documentation how to you can implement it for this Tesla template we need to install this uh, Yazra Laravel data table oracle package because this package manage the backend stuff of the data table like query and everything so we need to install it first let me install and stop the server and php require yajra laravel data table oracle let me fire it this package manage everything and while creating a scaffold users need to specify dash dash jquery dt and this option create data table instead of normal table and users need to run this command because uh, this option create one jquery file for the scaffold and add into the minify webpack dot mix and we need to fire this command so this command make it for minify this command minify the file and make for use let's go back to the terminal and check and you can see here now composer dependency of the laravel data table oracle is installed and let me take next step let me add this provider into the provider a into the app config file so let me open app.php and add here let me copy this alias and add here next step is we need to clear the config cache so let's fire php partition config cache and let me fire config colon cache so configuration cache cleared successfully and again the configuration cache successfully now this package is ready for use and let me generate one scaffold with this command php artisan infium scaffold post dash dash jquery dt so let me copy it and fire into the configuration into the terminal and let me Fire specify name type is a string and HTML type is text required and let me exit the process and let's run migration to so specify yes and migration run into the database successfully and post table created and now let me php artisan so and start the server and let's refresh and go to the dashboard you can see here now post available here 
I got the error unable to locate mix assetjs post dot postjs because I forget to run this command so we need to fire for the create post dot js so fire npm run dev now everything is done let me start again php artisan so let me show you into the editor first of all so into the resource view and you can see one more directory there templates and template.php which is used for the edit and delete button for the table and you can see this is the a normal scaffold with the normal table and the post is with data table and you can see post directory and post.js for the data table this file created by the scaffold and infium generator and this prepare templates renderer use post table this template.php file for the render the edit and delete buttons and you also see here data tables post data table and this method only return the query not the data so this table handle the backend stuff and this js handle the frontend stuff so now this one is ready and let me refresh this now post table is displaying and let's create one the post this is first post and let me create data table provide everything pagination per page and searching let me search and you can see here now data table make call server side and get the data from the database and render it here let me delete this uh, you can confirmation pop up and let me yes the record is deleted from the database and data table as well so you can easily use data table and easily set up data table with one command and you can save your lots of the time thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel